hello everyone welcome to the cell education channel today i want to showcase about how to capture the change data by using delta tables so this is very common scenario because if we identify if we want to identify the change data in the cell LA or the some delta tables and then according that when we want to update the target tables we need to identify what are the newly inserted data what are the updated records or what are the delete data so for that you know, normally if we, if we go back to the relational databases so in the relational databases we can enable the change data capture in in the particular tables and similar case we can do it in the delta tables as well so in here i will use normally use multi hop architecture according to the multi hop architecture we can uh, store the data raw data in the bronze layer clean data is stored in the silver layer and the aggregated data is stored in the gold layer so what in here what we are going to achieve is any changes we do in the silver layer delta tables any insert any update or delete we need to capture those events and then according to that we can update our target tables target delta tables or goal layer delta tables according to that so you can do it using change data capture or change data feed offered by in the delta tables or using spark we can do it easily so let's head over to the notebook and then let's see how we can achieve this problem everyone first run this first cell you can see first cell i created this food table i have this four column id name amount updated date format of this table is delta let me run this table and the next cell i want to insert seven items i have seven foods and amounts and the update data as well let me run this command and insert this seven item and in next command i want to read the data inside the fruit but the data which is a change data okay for for that i use read stream and using this stream stream we have this option read change data and we enable it we can identify what are the changes let me run this command again okay sorry i didn't run this command previously sorry so you can see we get this error this is expected error because i didn't uh, enable this one enable change data feed uh, so if you want to use change data feed we need to add into our delta table so i forgot to add this one we need to add this one before that let's see the history of our delta table so okay you can see there's eight versions starting from zero to seven and the first version is this creation of our table and then there's other seven operation which is write operations and in this command you can see in the same command i want to enable the change data feed let me run this command and then let me run previous command again and see what are the new changes so you can see this is the output you can see there's three new columns right so you can see uh, previously this is the uh, i have add uh, that uh, when when i define the delta tables so these, these these are the columns id name and amount but now you can see there's new three columns so these three columns are very useful to identify what is the change type you can see the first column change type is insert because i have inserted seven items and commit version so you can see the last version is seven here but when i enable this uh, change data feed so version change is to eight that's why it is eight version 
and then the commit time so using this commit time also we can identify what are the uh, changes happen in according to the time so in here i just inserted seven rows that's why the change type it is only insert let me update some value uh, let me update the id number one amount in uh, currently it's 100 i want to update into 200 let's run this command and let's see the change what is the change type and uh, what happened in this command okay let me go to raw data let's see the batch id is still row one let's see okay it's changed into two let's see okay you can see there's new two rows uh in the change data type there's two change data type because in the first change type is update pre-image which is previous amount and the second row is update post image which is 200 so in the delta table if we uh, filter out this any change data type let's see we want to identify what are the new insert we can filter out by using change data type equal to insert we can get the inserted data or if you want to get the updated values we can use update underscore post image the using this uh, change data type we can get the newly updated data so you can see this is very important when we dealing with the gold layer delta tables so if you want to identify what are the changes happen in the silver layer we can use this method this is very useful method so i highly encourage you to use this method in your system or in your uh, daily ETL process or any other your processes so i hope you get a clear idea about this so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in another new video thank you so much